What's up guys, Brett here with thedroiddemos.com. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a ROM for the EVO 3D. I know it's been a while since I've shown you one for this, uh, but this is probably the best ROM out right now, and I definitely recommend checking it out. It's called Mean ROM, and I'm running it with the Infected ROM Anthrax kernel, which is uh, very, very uh, heavily supported on this ROM. The developer of this ROM has done a great job, uh, Mikey XDA. It's done a great job making this ROM run well with the Anthrax kernel, uh, which will allow you to uh, overclock your EVO 3D to a little over 1.6 gigahertz um, and get a lot of great performance out of it, uh, including great battery life, the way it manages everything. Uh, so um, this is uh, version 2.8, uh, released, I think, uh, yesterday, or the uh, 22nd of March, I think it was released. Um, and it, this one brings uh, a little better better support for the Anthrax kernel, so it'll manage uh, CPU um, and undervolting uh, really well up to that 1. Point, uh, I think 6.2 gigahertz, uh, so that you'll be able to get really good performance out of it. Uh, this is on the latest firmware for the Evo 3D, uh, so make sure that you're updated before you flash this ROM. After flashing it, then, you, then of course uh, you can put on the Anthrax kernel which you can download from the in, in, uh, infected ROM website. Um, so everything's working on this ROM. There's nothing that's not working. Everything's included, so you don't have to worry about uh, 4G or any of that. Everything's working. Um, as you can see, it brings a nice stock uh, sense experience. Um, the uh, sort of motto for this ROM is clean, mean, and nice. Uh, clean being uh, stock sense on the newest firmware, mean being great performance and battery life, and nice being uh, the uh, cool functionality included in the ROM. Um, so this is exactly how it looks when you when you flash the ROM. As you can see, we have the th kind of 3D uh, screen tra transitions, all of the uh, default uh, widgets here on the home screen. Of course, it cycles around. Um, in addition to that, uh, for performance-wise, again, great performance. Um, for battery life, uh, he claims a 50-hour standby on this. Uh, the reason that we uh, he's claiming that is one of the big things on this is the single core and undervolting with the screen off. So you have the dual core when it's on, and as soon as you turn your screen off, it'll switch into single core mode with undervolting um, so that you can squeeze out some more battery life from the ROM. Um, some of the cool things added, of course, uh, something often added is the power menu. So you see here we have all these options here. That's in there. Um, we have uh, a lot of quick settings here. Uh, everything you'll need, 4G, power saver, all settings, memory management, things like that. Um, another cool thing we have, if you go to the notifications, it's got this swipe to remove uh, that we see in ice cream sandwich so all you have to do is just swipe off the screen and interesting there we go um, wasn't doing that very well um, but yeah so we have that swipe to remove notifications uh, like on ice cream sandwich um, for apps we have a lot of the bloat removed things like um, Amazon mp3 and things like that but we still have a lot of things included in case uh, you want to still have all those stock experiences, things like, uh, um, oh, uh, actually a mirror is included back in here, um, but things still in here, things like news, uh, the Peep Twitter app, um, Media Share, uh, just some of HTC's uh, basic things, but not everything removed, but still the important stuff that you wouldn't want, including the uh, CIQ. So, um, no logging on this, no need to worry about that. Uh, as you can see here, we have Wi Fi Tether. Uh, that's what I use, but if you want to use Sprint Hotspot, that's unlocked on this ROM, so you can use that. Uh, one of my favorite things included on this ROM is the Amaze camera. Uh, so, the stock camera included on this has the HDR and panorama. But a maze camera has a few cool things, so we've just opened up that. Go ahead and rotate this so you guys can see everything. Um, see, we have our options here on the left. We got this cool rotating uh, icon or uh, focus uh, 
image here. So as soon as it focuses, does that. If I tap, it makes a cool sound. There we go. And lines, or rather focuses. Uh, we have this right here, and we can choose different filters and whatnot. Um, so mm -hmm. there's auto. We can choose uh, smart shot used to capture an array of shots combined to create best photo of everyone smiling. Um, a lot of other ones you can check out. Sweep shot. Uh, I think this is HDR. We have uh, burst mode, uh, nighttime, sports, macro, and portrait. So go check those out. Amaze camera is really cool. I like using it. Um, and I definitely think it's one of the nice things included on this ROM. Um, but yeah, check that out. Of course, we have our other options to switch to front, video camera, flash, things like that. Get to gallery down here and the shutter button. Basic things, but yeah, pretty cool. Um, I definitely like it. Um, we have a uh, flashlight in this. Uh, something else included a lot is the MMS. So for messaging, we have that uh, limit for size increase as well. Um, but the main thing that I love about this ROM is the performance and battery life. Uh, so for that alone, I think it's worth checking out. Um, so again, it's mean ROM. Uh, I have the Anthrax kernel installed on it for even better and better performance, uh, and that's really well supported on this. So install that as well. Of course, be sure to flash uh, or wipe everything um, before flashing this, so you can get a nice clean experience. And let me know what you think in the comments. Um, be sure to subscribe on YouTube and let me know if you have any requests. Again, me and Ron with Anthrax Kernel. I'm Brent from thedroiddemos.com. Thanks for watching, guys.